up guys, it's your girl Zakaya J. So, uh, I ain't really just, just been grinding y'all. Full time job, full time student. Then I'm really bagged up with my cooking. So I really gotta sit down and do that this weekend. It's been a minute, y'all. I know, I know, I know. But look, let me tell y'all something. Don't y'all be getting caught up in this social media, okay? Don't get caught. Don't let your. Don't allow your life to get caught up in social media. Oh, media. I'm just gonna let that flow. Media. Don't get caught up in the media to where you forget about reality. All right. Don't don't ever forget that, okay? But also this weekend we're going grocery shopping, y'all. We're going grocery shopping because I'm learning this new uh little meal prep thing, you know. So this journey of becoming a upcoming chef me of me becoming a chef. I'm a chef, but I show sure got a a lot of areas I need to learn and a lot of things I need to learn, especially we, with me taking the initiation to learn these things on my, now I'm not gonna say on my own, but just independently on my own. That sounds like the same thing, but if you, if you know, you know. Anyway, but yeah, so uh, this weekend, I plan to go grocery shopping, I'm gonna do me a little uh, grocery list, and I'm gonna take y'all with me. Take y'all with me on this thing. We're gonna be learning some things together. So, uh, dieting is, you know, I'm really at the point where I'm really learning, like, you are what you eat. And uh, it's a way to go about dieting. Like, a lot of people avoid diets because they think of just bland foods. They think of just, you know, things that's distasteful, that's unseasoned. But no, it's so not the case. It's definitely not what you do, it's how you do it. And, yeah. So, uh... I've been working out consistently. Now my e habits on the other hand, we get we we get back on point. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, I feel like sleep because I actually gotta get up in the morning and work out. So yeah. What's up, y'all? Saturday morning and yeah, I woke up late. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm definitely gonna need to stop and give me a cup of coffee or two. But yeah, so after we leave the gym, we're gonna head to the Vietnamese market. Really, 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 really quick. Y'all, so, I did not go to the formal markets yesterday like I supposed to. <sighs> yesterday was just yesterday, I like it today. It was a good day, but it was just yesterday. So today we are going to the farmer's market. We're gonna get some fun first. Those, my two collectives on Sunday. Fun and grocery shopping. Jesus, every day, you heard me. Every day, every minute, every second, every hour. Thank you, God, Lord Jesus. Christ, my Savior, thank you for another day. I'm supposed to be getting this hair done soon. Because <clears throat> it's just a little bit of a need. <laughs> So yeah, I made it to the market. Um, I don't have a particular grocery list that I'm going by. I'm just doing me a, a, like a salad, fruit, and water fast this week. So, what I got some chives. They don't even know what it is.
vegetables and I also got some shrimp. I spent a hundred and seven dollars and one eighty dollars. If I had food stamps, it'll be one hundred dollars and one sixty. You know, yeah, whatever. So this is my grocery haul, you all. I'm getting ready to chop the strawberries up right here and let them clean and chop the rest of my fruits and vegetables up and put them in some containers. So yeah, right now I am cutting, washing, and cleaning my strawberries. Dime it, be quiet. Why does this dog just be whining for no reason? All is dead. We as people know what and what not to eat. We just decide not to. We just decide not to eat, right? And I know y'all see me, if you watch my chef page, you see me cooking all this stuff. And it, well, it started off as unhealthy things, you know, and I still am a <laughs> suspect of cooking unhealthy things, but they don't necessarily mean I eat them. And when I do cook the unhealthy things, the people that's eating it, they really just be nibbling. Like, yeah, and, you know, as a cook, I nibble as I go, so I really don't be wanting it when I finish. I don't know, I gotta get my hair done after a while, so. You need it. Elise. All right, so I'll get my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Braids to the back is always a go do. And she put a design in my hair. She's looking at this shit. It's cute though. Good look. Yeah. Hey, don't act like I like swear you. to you. I fucked the bitch with a dull face before. Like, look, in that motherfucker. I'm saying nothing. I'm in there to my boy. From my front the back, nigga, nigga just sitting there like this. I'm just beating the bitch back in. It's some bullshit. She had a mirror in there. I'm sitting in the mirror. I'm looking at myself in the mirror like this. I just came over here for this shit. My for real. And I done smacked the ass like I'm really into it. Like, Tyson, how you gonna hit the bitch though? No, I ain't gonna hit the bitch for like, like, you. Fuck that. What's your mouth, ho? Look, how you gonna hit him? Hey, bro. Yeah, I don't know, you too bad. Y'all never, never had a girl y'all want to punch. Yeah, I just realized I got this big old hoodie on. But excuse me, excuse me. This is this is the real deal. <laughs> Prayer. Prayer is so important, especially when you feel things around you. You got to always ask God to reveal, remove, and restore. You know, Protect your boundaries. Remove people out your life that's not for you. You know, you gotta always ask God to shit to protect you and cover them up in his blood. You know what I'm saying? Like, God grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change things I can't, and wisdom to know the difference. You gotta stay true to the game. Uh, that's what I'm learning to stay committed to your goals and dreams. Um, treat others the way you wish to be treated. And it's also associated with a forgiving heart, you know. <clears throat> Meaning that um, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change as I can, and wisdom of the difference. That comes into context with that as well because <clears throat> at that moment, you ask asking God to give you the wisdom and knowledge that you need to accept people for what they are. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. I cannot change people. But, God grant me some reading, something I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. I have the ability to have the courage to change me, to change my circumstances, to change my surroundings, to change 
who I deal with to change who I associate with. And that's what wisdom to know the difference between. Sometimes we be following the minds in life to where we forget that some things we don't have control of, you know. At that moment, have the courage to change what you can. We can control our own minds. We can control our own hearts. We control our stuff. We know when we feel an emotional. So you know that you're in an emotional state. You need to do something to fix that. You know, do what you do. What brings you peace at that moment? You know. If you don't know, figure it out. You know. I'm learning, right? And those who are learning as well, don't be a gatekeeper in your learning experience. One of the most known sayings in the most like just red thing to me is when people say just because it was hard for me you're gonna have it hard to do this not that is not true that is so not true you had a hard for a reason you know what i'm saying everybody has a different way of having hard in their life you know so but your heart may not be that hard. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was meant for you to have that heart to be in that moment when you're telling the other person just because it was hard for me to find me hard for you. That don't make any sense at all. What do you mean? What do you mean? It was hard for Jesus. It was hard for Jesus. But did he he died? It was hard for Jesus. That's all I was saying. It was hard on him. Did he make it hard on us? Do he make it hard on us? Do God make it hard on us? Extra stuff that question. Not as hard as we should have it. You know what I'm saying? Now don't let me sound like a hypocrite now, because. still be trying to, you know what I'm saying, adjust to <laughs> that complete way of living too, you know what I'm saying, like, I be forgetting at times, that a lot of times that life could be harder than what you're in right now, you know what I'm saying, I really did have to remind myself, and been still reminding myself lately, like, how blessed I am. You know, and we in the middle of a recession. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, dang, just being grateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I said, like, all this is connected to social media and patience. Social media, we see things that we want. We see things that we think we should have and think that we need. And especially, it's the lifestyle. Looking at analyze the, the lifestyles that we think that we need. That we think that should be placed in our life. Like, I know. Like, live your life. Be in your reality. Tone, zoom out, tone out, stay focused, you know. And when I'm talking to whoever's watching this video, I'm talking to myself as well because consistency is the key, you know. You know, change can happen overnight, you know what I'm saying? You know, you had to go to sleep the night before you woke up and say, Hey, look, I'm working out, I'm starting change happen on tonight but stay consistent with the change pray as you continue to transition to you know social media and it's, it, it, it's don't if you, it's not a completely bad thing you know what I'm saying it's just a mind thing because thinking about it a lot of people be inspired but they be inspired but quickly become anxious desperately in me desperately wanted you know it's meant for everyone in this world to live a lavish life to 
travel to see. We here on this earth for a reason. And honestly, we are free. We just gotta stop being so trapped minded. Stop being so trapped. Have, feeling like you trapped. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it is really fear. You know, what are you scared of? And I'm talking to myself when I'm thinking it's like, what are you scared of? Like, what's stopping you? If, if you got children, man, travel with your kids. They are babies. Babies. You know, go to little different places with your babies. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to think about it. Your babies got to grow up. So, life don't stop when you have a child. It just adds to it. That's all it do. It adds to it. And... Tragedy just to come in place. It's a song. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Go listen to it. Good one. But man, just live in the moment, you know. Live in the moment. Everybody gets their chance to shine, you know. Should be home. I'm done. Mm. Your life. Your life. What's up? What it is? It's shaking. It's a cool shake. Yeah, today I'm working out. Today leg day. Waiting on Brandon to come. That's my trainer. So. Yeah, I'm scratching. I'm gonna let y'all watch him scratch. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm so. We do that too. We do that too. Like when we just come, we, we all been around till we just do that. We, we do that too. Like, uh. What's up? Then we were like. No, put that arm down. We don't just do the handshake all the time. Give me a handshake and we're gonna come in one of them that's, that, that's what, that, that, that's when That's when they all right around. But you said. If I ain't see them, if I hit a nigga first coming home or something like that, nigga, how about the car? My mama, nigga, oh, we go, we in Hollywood. Hug up and shit, shake, shake up and shit. Like, go. Well, we that's shit, one arm. Minute. You doing two arms? We arm. doing two arms, two arms, bro. <laughs> two arms, two arms. What's wrong with man, man? Real nigga shit. Listen to me. Man, that's my motherfucker brother. That's my motherfucker niggas for I ain't like, hug Kiri like that. I don't get no fuck. You put a hug. That's how my little brother had to hug that nigga, nigga. How I, hold on, how I look? I dude. hug Kiri. Let me show you something. How I look doing this shit. You and Kiri hug. Man, let Kiri get up to it. All right, Jack Reddy. Jack Reddy right now. Let them get Kiri hug. Okay, listen. <laughs> There's a man hug and there's you know how you hug a girl you, man, give me a hug. One little jump. That's my motherfucking brother. But you said that type of hug with your